as always, Adobe are constantly updating After Effects. And in the latest release, they've slightly changed the layout, the way we view when we're working in 3D. If we take a look at this project here, down here, the toolbar is being simplified. And many of the tools relating to 3D have been hidden away. Um, we see them as soon as we make a 3D layer in a 3D comp. So here I've got a new comp. I'm just gonna go up and double click to create new text layer. I'm just gonna type easy 3D. And uh, you can see I've got a text layer here. And by enabling the 3D button, it instantly opens up these options here, which are all relating to 3D. Uh, if I turn it off, they get hidden away. Now, previously, they all appeared here constantly all of the time, but now they've just been hidden away until you have a 3D layer and you need them. It's just to simplify it. With the addition of two extra options here, most of it's the same. For example, we have a choice of whether we work in classic 3D or cinema 4D if we're doing more advanced uh, 3D extrusion. I'll keep that in classic 3D. Uh, we've got the option of what angle do we view it from? Uh, we can use the custom view to see a three quarter angle. And as with the previous release of After Effects, you can now use the one, two and three key to navigate round. So if I press one, left click on my mouse button, I can orbit around. If I press two, left mouse button click, I can move around uh, left and right, up and down. And if I press three, I can track in or dolly in and out. So I've got all that control. In addition to that, uh, I have the four key. If I press four, that gives me controls where I can move my layer up using the axis controls here. Uh, as you hover over, you'll see the letter, so that's Z forwards and backwards. But if I press five, it gives me the same sort of controls, but this is relating to scale in X and Y and also Z if I had volume in this layer. And the six key, that brings up my rotation controls. So it just makes it easier to be able to visually rotate things around without having to always go into the rotation controls down here or the orientation, as you can see, that's what we've actually been changing. Uh, okay, uh, what we get new is, uh, well, we have the button here for Draft 3D. This has always been around, but that used to be hidden down in, in, in the uh, options here. Um, so now when we have a 3D layer, we have Draft 3D, I can enable that unless I'm using things like reflections and shadows, I may not see much difference when you use the Draft 3D. It's just gonna process a lot, lot faster. So it's often worth working at until you need to work with more advanced results. Um, so Draft 3D is very useful. When Draft 3D is enabled, this is the new feature that's very useful, ground plane. If you click on that, it shows you a ground plane, much like other full 3D software like Cinema 4D. And now if I press one and navigate round, I can see where my uh, text is in relation to the ground plane, the, the center of the world. And that makes it a lot easier um, to position things and move them around because now we have a little grid. Of course, that isn't gonna get rendered out. It's just the visualization and that can be toggled on and off at any time. That's a really useful addition. Uh, we've got the regular dif uh, choice of different views. We can have our customizable views and our set views. Um, but also, if I say I move a custom view like here to an angle that I really like, and then I set up my scene and do my animation, and then I realize, oh, I'm in a custom view, and you can't actually render from the custom view. You have to render from a camera view, like the active camera view. Well, there's a new option here to create a camera from the 3D view. So if you've angled up your camera, uh, your view as you want it, and you think, ah, I actually want to create a camera, you just click Create Camera from 3D view. Boom, that's given me a 3D camera that's now at that same location. So that's much, much easier to work with. And of course, the views that's always been around in the 3D workspace of After Effects, you can have a one view, a two view, or a four way view for full 3D layout. Um, that's as it was before. It's just hidden away when layer is not 3D. When it's a 2D layer, you only see the 2D elements. When it's a 3D layer, you see the 3D controls. Well, I hope that's explained the slightly tweaked interface look for working with 3D, how it can just be a little bit cleaner and tidier, and the addition of these two extra options that can make things just a little bit quicker. But uh, with the rest of the course, whether you're using the previous version or the current version, everything we're gonna do is exactly the same. I just wanted to explain the new layout.